Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we will have a look at Miro Protocol. Thanks to Zed for mentioning them in the comments because I really like what they're doing. So Miro Protocol allows you to create synthetic assets called mirrored assets on the Terra blockchain. For example a stock or a cryptocurrency. They're called M assets and they follow the price behavior of real world assets. In this video I'm going to show you the entire interface, how to buy and add liquidity and everything else you need to know. Let's start with borrowing or minting because I think this one is a little tricky but I will try to keep it as simple as possible. If we want to mint an asset we are actually borrowing it from Miro protocol by giving them at least 150% in collateral. I would use more because if you drop below 150% your position gets liquidated. We can use UST, Luna or other M assets as collateral. Once we have done that, Mirror Protocol will give us the token, in this case a mirrored version of Coca-Cola. They track the price by using an oracle to bring real world data to the blockchain. Now we have to decide what we're going to do with our M asset. There are more things that you can do with it, but I will just give you two examples. First, we can provide liquidity and earn some returns. Later in the video I'm going to show you how that works. Or we can use it to pay back our loan and unlock the collateral. By doing so, the token gets burned. But if you just want to invest, it's easier to buy the tokens directly. You don't have to mint and I wouldn't recommend it unless you have a good strategy. But anyway, let me show you how to mint a token by using Miro Protocol. Now we're back on the website and over here you can see the pool price, that's the price of the mirrored asset and over there the oracle price, that would be the price from the real world. The difference between those is the premium and more on that later when I buy tokens. And on the right side you can find the minimum collateral you have to put up. Let's pick Apple in this example. We can decide what kind of collateral we want to use and how much risk we want to take. 200% is suggested to be on the safe side. I'm going to use UST as collateral, but you can also use Luna. Just have some UST in your wallet to pay for transaction fees. What's really important is that you can only mint during market hours. Sounds kind of strange when you're used to the crypto market being open 24 seven. And if you want to close your position, there's a 1.5% fee so I wouldn't recommend it if you want to jump in and out of a trade because 1.5% really cuts into your profits. The next step is much easier and it's the one I've done and that's simply buying tokens on the platform. Again you see the mirrored asset price and the oracle price. I mentioned the premium before. As you can see the premium on some stocks is higher than on others. I'm not sure why but I guess the demand for that token is higher. For example the premium on Alibaba is over 12%. I would wait another day if I want to buy this stock because the premium changes from time to time or I would pick another stock where the premium is closer to the actual price. Sometimes it's even negative and you will see this when I buy mirrored KO. There the premium was negative and I think I got it at a discount. Next let's check out the yield farming. You have the option to go long and short. I recommend going long, it's much easier. If you want to go short you need to borrow a token and put up collateral. It's easier to go long and I will show you how to do it in just a second. You can see all the different rates for each stock and your rewards will be paid out in Miro tokens. You can also stake Miro to earn rewards and get voting rights to make changes to the protocol. If we take a look at the Miro token price we will find that it has dropped a lot. That's why I opened a small position because I like the entry point and the working product. Alright now let's buy some M assets. As I mentioned earlier, the premium on this stock is actually negative. That's why I have decided to go with Coke. I'm going to buy MKO worth 1000 UST. Agree to the terms and it only takes a few seconds to complete. That's a great thing about the Terra blockchain. If you want to add liquidity and earn rewards, you need to have a 50-50 ratio of M assets and UST because you're creating a trading pair. You can see this when I put in 18 MKO, they asked me to add around 1000 UST. Let's add it and by the way, uh, Miro protocol doesn't require any KYC, so anyone can use it. Let me quickly buy a few Miro tokens and also add them to the liquidity pool. It doesn't matter what you stake, your rewards will be paid out in Miro tokens. Head over to the farm and add the tokens together with another 500 UST. And now we have successfully added it. 
Under my page you can find the pools you have joined and you can claim your rewards here as well. This video turned out to be a little bit longer than I wanted it to be, but I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, please leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Big thanks for staying until the end and see you next time.